Hi, this is Di, and my life is a mess. It borders on disaster. Yeah, a friggin' mess. You wanna see? Here you go. Yeah, that's my floor. And then this is what the rec room is now. Oh, there's my backwards light switch. There you go. Oh, half painted fireplace. Love seat only and spinny chair. Oh, but it gets weirder. There's the entryway. And the living room. And the dining room. I haven't even shown you the garage. Well, why don't we have a chat about it? How did we get here? <laughs> I don't know. It all started when Jerry had one of his friends over who sells flooring. You see, we had a leak in the kitchen and the floor was coming up like it was bouncy. Your kitchen floor is not supposed to be bouncy. And so, we called Jerry's friend over and he sold us new engineered wood floors, vinyl tiles, and carpeting for the house. It will be installed in just about a month. Just shy of a month it's going to be installed. My trip to NIH is during that period of time, so it's really more like three weeks. And so Jerry said we'd do the demolition ourselves. And then we started painting. So things are half painted, furniture that we're gonna get rid of in the garage. And then of course we had a leak at work. Uh, a month ago, we had a leak come up from under the concrete slab. Let me show you some pictures. How about this? And this, and this. So I've been out of my conference room for a month where I book everything. And so, when I left work yesterday, this is what I left. The new carpet is coming! So that will be nice at work. Oh, and I forgot the other disaster. Oh wait, actually, there's two more disasters. There's the yard disaster. So like, four months ago, the city came out to put in a water meter. And they couldn't find where our water turnoff valve was, so they sent someone out whole crew. They dug here but they did not find where the valve should go. So then they came over here and they dug here but they did not find where the valve should go. And all of there but then they found where the valve should go. So now we have a meter on our water. I have to start paying for usage. We just had kind of an unlimited thing. But we also have a torn up yard. So that's a bonus. So my yard is a mess. My work is a mess. And my house is a mess. Isn't it perfect? Oh, I forgot in my personal life. My personal life is a wreck. It is also most definitely a wreck, a disaster. I am sitting on moving blankets. So yeah, my personal life. I go to this like recovery support group, women's Bible study thing. And we're making a lot of progress, but it means talking about the grief and loss cycle. And so I've been working on that. And then I see a therapist once every two weeks. So it's kind of like everything is a disaster on every front because you know, one disaster is never enough. All right. So what isn't a disaster? Um, I was gonna save my health, but it is pretty much a disaster. Still, six years on this headache. And so I just got accepted into a headache clinic, but I don't see them for another month and a half. I got the first available appointment. So yeah, I'll be doing that. And then 
not a disaster is my YouTube channel. Even though sometimes I feel like I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas, my other YouTube channel, my bass playing channel, um, I'll put a thing, eye in the sky, whatever side that goes on, and you can check out my bass playing videos. I've been doing pretty well. I'm kind of excited. I hit 1,300 subscribers. It's taken me a long time to get there, but it's been worth it. I totally into it. So you can always check out those videos too. That's not a disaster, even though I keep missing deadlines and everything else and I'm behind on these vlogs. Oh my goodness, I easily have seven vlogs to edit. I don't really know right now when I'm going to get to them. What about your life? Is it a disaster? I wanna hear about it, please, down, down below. Tell me how it's going. I hope it's better for you. I mean, I'm keeping my sense of humor. A customer was upset with me on Thursday because I was laughing because I, I'm gonna go crazy if I don't keep my sense of humor. So I've been giggling about these things and he's not taking it as very funny. I never thought I would be in trouble for being too laid back. <laughs> it's time for me to update you today. No, tonight I'm leaving to go to Washington DC for my medical test. I'm gonna take you along, but first you have to see the destruction of our house getting ready it's gonna be a week from today when the contractors start laying the carpet so my room is packed but not prepped every other room in the house has been prepped i tried to shoot a youtube video for my bass playing channel and um there are no sounds and no lights that will work so yeah all right let's show you so see my room's packed up those are just my work clothes and then, you know, it's just packed. But <laughs> Jerry works a different shift than me, so this is a room he sleeps in, and it's all packed up, and the floors are up, see? There's the hallway. This is where I tried to shoot, but can you hear the echo? And the lighting is horrible. Everything's packed up. Lots of boxes. Gloria's room, she's probably not sharing. Oh, Jerry didn't pull up this floor yet so that Gloria could still shower. Every step. Yeah. Yeah, it's a dramatic difference. All ripped up. There's the rec room. Truly a wreck. Oh, don't miss the kitchen. Dining room. hire did help. I wanted to give you an update on the construction around the house. It is um, kind of insane around here. So let's show you. This is the kitchen. There's no stove or refrigerator, but they're starting to be a floor. There it is. I did finish painting the fireplace gray. I think it's doing a great job of this part right here. Look, look how you cut out around the fireplace by hand. It looks awesome. So this is what my house looks like when I'm getting ready for work. Oh, it's quiet actually for walking out the wood. This is the dining room. <laughs> this is what my living room looks like. <laughs> Why well, to put this up yesterday? Because I bought Jerry's paint. I didn't know it was wet. Starting on the stairs. <laughs> Let me show you my front porch. Yep.
Oh, look at the dirt. Remember they dug up the road and Jerry parked on the side and hit the dirt. So there's dirt everywhere. There we go, there's the dirt Jerry hit. <sighs> Spring, tulips. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Look at the bathroom. <laughs> Look, see? Oh. The laundry room, we found a vent. They put wood over this and vinyl and everything. I'm like, I want the vent. It's cold in the laundry room. I need to grab my lunch. It's, it's not in the fridge here. It's in the fridge. Out here. Oh, there, if I want to use the restroom. <laughs> so there's quite the story about getting the fridge into the garage. But this is its final destination. I get a new fridge. That's the that's the punchline of the whole thing. Probably talk to I don't know if Jerry will tell the story of the fridge, but maybe Gloria will. The rug came. So we've been working on remodeling the house. Oh, you can hear it's echoey. Because everything's off the walls and the floors. And well, I just called it like we're just getting floors, but then we ordered all new appliances. It's turned into a remodel. We're painting every room. And I thought I should give you an update. I'm having an absolutely no energy day. Those of you with chronic illness, do you know what I'm talking about? Haley with the spoon talks about it. I have no spoons today. So I'm supposed to be shooting two videos among other things. Oh, I can feel it now in my chest. Really no energy day, but the rug came. So the rec room, we like gave away almost all the furniture. It's pretty much empty except for, you know, three loads of laundry and the spinny chair is still here. Oh, we bought the first piece of furniture. Jerry wanted this little table. This goes next to his chair and I made him promise to paint it silver if I need it to be silver, but there it is. It's a little wood grain table. It's a lot of wood with the wood floor, except that it'll be a, on the rug. Oh, okay, so I laid out where the rug would go if it was eight by 10, but we ordered nine by 12, so this must be nine feet. So it actually goes this way. See, this is what we're living on here. That is the Ektorp love seat from my office and covered up in, in moving blankets. Yeah, so this is how we're living, but the, the rug came, I wanna see it, but I think I should turn it the other way because this is the wrong way. Let's look at it. And I really shouldn't unroll it all the way because the pad's not here yet. If that's supposed to come in two days. So, you know, not a pad, but you know that like non-sticky, slippy, slippy thing? You with rugs on hardwood know exactly what I'm talking about. Like that rubber backing. It's a separate container. I think I'm making it worse. Ooh. That looks pretty. <laughs> That should look good with the gray fireplace. Look, like a shoe cover. Like those little booty covers on the end. I just want to unroll a piece of it. Let's find where the ending is. Like a roll of toilet paper, right? Ooh, there's some plastic. I want to see it. it. Doesn't look like the right colors at all. Oh, but it is. It's beautiful. See, look, it's called ombre. See? Right. I was very confused because I thought I was ordering a blue rug, but it only came in gray because it said it was slate. This says it's slate blue. What do you think? Does that look? Gray or blue? I think it looks like a little bit of both. Just that gray that's right in the middle. Cause that's gray. Right there. I don't know. I like the color though. That's good. It's, look, it's got all this red and yellow in the background, but it doesn't show any of it. Isn't that interesting? And now I saw this warning. Do not slice it the long way because if you need to return it, this is your bag. I guess we're not returning it. Be gentle with it. That's how they cracked it last time. Watch that shelf. 
Watch that shelf. That's how they broke the inside of the other stove. That's why it's being returned. Be careful. Be careful with that. That's why we're getting a new one. So. I thought today I would update you on where we're at with the house. So as you probably recall, back in April, we got new floors. Here's what the wood floors look like. And we got new tiles. They're vinyl tiles with grout here in the laundry room and the bathrooms. And then we got carpet upstairs. And so when we got those, we painted as many walls as we could. Like, see, this was like a purpley color and now it's gray. We painted as many walls as we could before he started putting the floors in, but we couldn't get to everything. So this is the rec room. And we, the furniture is arranged strangely because we had Christmas Eve Eve last night, and so there's a table and things. But I thought I'd show you how far we got on the rec room. This was the love seat in my office, and we got a new slip cover for it. We got a new rug. We got this, ta this little table's new. There's a secret with this table. It is actually the entertainment center. There's the Blu-rays and DVDs and, ah! See, that's the Blu-ray player. It's actually wired into the wall to the new TV. We got this new lamp. You can see the Christmas decorations are out. These are the coasters I got in the Bahamas when we were in Nassau. I think they're pretty cool. They're actually coastal. You can see that that's actually a shell, but anyway, super cute. But Legos are out from last night. They'll be out for Christmas too, so that there's things to play with. But anyway, um, <laughs> we painted the fireplace. I don't know if that was the best plan, but that's what we did. This little cubby was designed with a door on it and you could throw firewood in, but we don't burn many fires. So we sealed it off and we use it for pillows and blankets and all of that stuff goes in there. Lots of little kids like to play in it. And so that's kind of fun. I wanted to put a door on it, but how you put a door over the rocks, I don't know. Anyway, painting this was terrible. Jerry painted it white first, that came out awful. Then we went back and painted it gray, but trying to get all the white covered up, that was that was a trip. Jerry bought a new grate, you can, um, not a grate. And, well, he did buy a new grate, but he also bought a new uh, curtain. A new curtain on it, and we got new tools. And then put a whole new top on the fireplace. So that we can put things on the mantle because we have a new mantle and you can see the new clock. Or I can't read it because it's Roman numerals. Come on, that's kind of funny. So the decorations, this is the nativity we always have. This is a new garland and those are off of my mother-in-law's tree, off of Marcy's tree. She's passed away now and so I was able to incorporate those. These Decorations are all from Big Lots. They had a theme this year called Starry Night. And since this is the Starry Night, it all matched our stuff. This cabinet's new. It's actually also, so it's all the modems and all that stuff. It also holds the Christmas CDs because we do have some Christmas CDs I'm playing in the car. So those are in there. I went through and checked whatever 
not on Spotify. Spotify? On Spotify is what's in there. That's of course one of those big lots decorations. This was my mother-in-law's. Some of her Christmas decorations were pretty creepy, so I try to get that creepy elf on a shelf in where I can. Of course, that is not a landline. That's voice over internet. That's where all the sales calls go. Then this end table, which I'm gonna flip flop it. I want it on the other side, but this end table was actually from my office as well. And they don't sell these anymore at Ikea, so it made its way here. The lamps we already had, we'd gotten those at Pier 1 and some more decor from uh, Big Lots. The couch. This couch is brand new. We ordered the couch with the gray slip cover. It matches the Ikea one really well. The Ikea couch did not have a sleeper. This is a queen sleeper sofa. So that's why we got this couch. And those are slip covers on it. So it can be swapped out, which is nice. The coffee table is from the living room and we are doing a new coffee table. All right, it looks like the battery ran out while I was making that clip, so let's do an update here. We were at the coffee table. There it is. Jerry had to refinish it because when we bought it, it looked really crummy, but it's got these big baskets that we can store stuff in. I got games in there and it has these big drawers too, so it's handy for a rec room where you need lots of storage see how the carpet turned out. We changed the light fixtures. We had two cans here. And see where there was one can light there and one can light there. And we put in these fixtures. So the whole room is lit now, not just one spot. The kitchen's not done, but we got a new refrigerator. A new stove. And a new dishwasher. The dining room is getting closer to done. This is our new dining room table. And then new chairs. And we got this, uh, this buffet in the end. You can see the X's in the buffet and the X's on the chairs. Try to make it kind of go together. And these are the comfy chairs on the end. We had a brass chandelier in here and we replaced it with this chandelier. There were some big changes in the living room. This is the corner where the green chair was. The shelf's still here, but it's been rearranged. There's a love seat. New rug. Mat. And table and lamps are new. New couch. The other end table and lamp. Two big chairs. And this ottoman, which also doubles as a single bed. Light fixture. Still working on the entryway. But got the door painted and the stairs painted. This light fixture, that is the chandelier that was in the dining room. We painted it and rehung it. I spent a lot of time painting doors and replacing doorknobs. The stairs used to be carpeted, but now they're wood as well. And this is what Jerry's doing right now is he's painting all of these doors. And he finished this off. It was never finished. So now it's all nice and matches the house. And you can see what the new carpet looks like that's in the bedrooms, but nothing else is really done in the bedrooms. And that is an update on where we are with remodeling the house. We just keep plugging away at it. There's still quite a bit to go, but we're working on it. Um, keep checking back. And here's some more videos you need to check out and one that YouTube picked out just for you.